Hey everybody, it's your girl Coach Cheryl and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get unstuck. Have you ever felt stuck like everything that you're trying to do to move to the next level, whether that's in your finances, whether that's in your career, whether that's in your business, whether that's in your personal life. It seems like there's this glass ceiling that's stopping you from getting there. We're going to address that in the next video. So join us. Welcome back. And if you are joining for the first time, my name is Cheryl Thomas. I am a minister, best-selling author, and certified Christian life coach. And here on this channel, we help church girls and women of faith get a life. Yes, that means to love yourself, to invest in yourself, to feel super confident in your own skin, and to feel empowered to express the unique individual that God has called you to be. And so we're going to be doing this series called How to Get Unstuck. And I open this by asking, have you ever felt like you were stuck. I can remember a point in my life where I felt like there was nothing that I could do to move forward. I was doing so many things. I was planning so many things. I was working really, really hard in my mind to get to the next level, whatever that is, of my business, of my ministry, of in finances, every area of my life, I was trying to up level it. But it seemed like no matter what I did, it just wasn't working. Have you ever felt like that? Like you were doing everything that you knew how to do, but nothing was working. If you've ever felt like that, I want you to hit me in the comments and say, yes, yeah, sure, I do understand what you're talking about. And so I can remember taking that to God in prayer and asking him, what am I doing wrong? What am I missing? Why do I feel exhausted from effort, but I still can't move? Forward. I don't seem to be able to get traction in my life like I want to. And God whispered these words in my ear. He said, you're not stuck. You're scared. Wow. You're not stuck. You are scared. And as I reflected on that, I realized it was true. Has God ever told you something and you didn't think that that's the, the situation you were in or the position that you were in? But as you looked back and you stepped away from it, you could see, I am scared. I was scared to do the things that were necessary for me to move forward. And so I did all the other peripheral things around it. So instead of making business calls, instead of asking for the sale, I was, you know, making sure my website was good, editing my videos 20,000 times because I was afraid of what I thought would be rejection or even afraid of the responsibility of success. And so when God spoke those words into my heart, I knew it wasn't just for me. I knew that there are people out there that God has called to do big things. God has called you to, to shift atmospheres and to change the trajectory, not only of your life, but those that are around you, your family, your friends, your community, and even the world but you are afraid. You are afraid of what other people may say about you. You don't feel worthy enough to go after everything that God has put at your hands to do. You don't feel qualified. And so you stay small, doing small things, doing small tasks because you are afraid afraid to do what God has put in your heart to do. And so I wanted to come today and to give you three things that the Lord has given me that I have been working on and I thought might be beneficial for you too, that will help you come out of fear and walk in faith so that you can be about the business of doing what God has called you to do. And the first thing is to confront and to face that fear. 
Lord, I'm afraid of being rejected. I need you to say that. I need you to admit that. I know that in the Christian community, it is not popular to admit that you are afraid, but God can't heal the fear if you won't admit that you have it. He can't help you move forward if you don't admit you have a problem. So whatever that fear is, I want you to admit it. I want you to confront it. And then after you confront it, the number two thing, second thing that you do is to give it to God. God, these are the fears that I have. These are the things that make me uncomfortable, that make me uneasy moving forward. I'm afraid that people will judge me. I'm afraid that people will misunderstand me. I'm afraid that people will think I'm a fraud. I will, I'm afraid that people won't accept me. Whatever that fear is, give it to God and ask him to break that fear off of your life. Because whether you know it or not, there are people that are waiting on you to rise up in your purpose and in your power so that you can help them reach the levels that God has called them to do. They need you to break the fear off of your life so that you can help them break the fear off of their life. They are waiting for you to deal with whatever that issue is so that you can help them move forward in life. But it won't happen until number one, you confront it. And number two, you give it to God. And the third thing is ask God for the grace to take baby steps. A lot of times we think that we have to solve it all at one time. But Lord, help my unbelief. I want to believe. I want to move forward. I want to cancel fear so that I can walk in faith. But Lord, teach me how to take step by step by step. Help me surround myself with people that will encourage me. Help me set up systems and habitual processes that will help me walk this out. So take baby steps. If you are starting out in business and you are afraid to Ask people for the sale. Ask your family members. Say, I'm practicing today on how to move my business forward. And so I'm going to give you the pitch. And so just start pitching people without any expectation of what you'll receive in return. It's practice for you. So start doing baby steps that will take you to where you want to go. I have an awesome mentor and she would always tell me something her mother would say to them as children. Do something. Even if you think it's wrong, even if you don't think it is perfect, do something because you get perfected on the way. It won't be perfect when you do it the first time. It won't be perfect when you do it perhaps the 10th time. But as you do it, it gets more excellent. You get better at it. You get more confidence in doing it. So take the baby steps. So Sister girl, my church girl, my friend, you are not stuck. You are scared, but God has come today to arrest that fear so that you can move forward in faith and be about the business of doing what he has called you to do. So I hope this has been a blessing to you. And if so, I'm going to ask you to hit that like button so that I'll know that you enjoyed this content. And I'm also going to ask you if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting on? We are giving content to help you move forward in life. So go ahead and slap that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when I drop a new video. I'm so glad that you are a part of this family and that you spent these few moments with me. So I look forward to seeing you on the next time. Have a great week.